these sins in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I hope that all is well with you. Okay, so this morning um, when I was listening to God, I am considering what should I say or if he has anything to say. It came to me to read James chapter 2. And when I read that, I got this message. It was basically a warning to the church. Now, not everyone is indulging this type of sin, but I, I believe that it's more, mainly for like pastors and leaders. Yes, there may be a few in the pews that are, but it's mainly for pastors and leaders. So I'll read the scriptures. It's James chapter 2 from verse 1 to 9. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of his time. For those of you who would have been watching my videos, I did some previous videos about a year or so ago about um, God is no respect of persons. And God also expects us as believers in Christ, as his followers, as his children, to not be respecter of persons, right? For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring, in goodly apparel, and they come in also a poor man in veil remnants. And this is a veil remnants. Um, and he have respect to him that we are to hear clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Right. Hold me a bit. Okay. Right. Are ye not partial in yourselves, being judges of evil thoughts? How can my beloved brethren? Had not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he had promised to them that love him? Right? So there are scenarios in which um, respect of persons are um, portrayed, and we ought not to have respect for any of us. Um, have respect of persons, God wants us to repent. It's high time that we repent and ask God to forgive us and help us not to be respecters of persons. God bless you all. Take care.